www.newtheboss.com this is again Ty and it's upgrade time once again and this time we're going to update uh, a Samsung Galaxy S3 we're running currently 4.1.1 Jelly Bean let me show that to you clearly and I suppose this update will be 4.1.2 or a so let's just tap on update right there. If you can see, I mean, might have noticed, it's way 28% already because it just prompted earlier. I'm on automatic update, so you just try to download the package directly. So I just need to set up the camera and capture that on the video. Okay, so we're going to download the package first right there. Um, 4.1.2 Jelly Bean was actually uh, thought of before to be Key Lime Pie, so it, it's not. It's it's not a new version. It's just sort of like an extension of Jelly Bean itself. Ninety percent right now, and we're gonna get back to you in a little while. Let's just have it downloaded first. All right, so we're back now. It's a software update. Got later. Install all. Install. So we select install. All right there. You can schedule your upgrade in case you're using your phone. If you're outside, you just set the time in there. It would automatically do the upgrade for you when you like set it at 12 o'clock or something. But we're gonna do it right now, and it would ask you to tap on something that says install. So let's do. It's still counting out. So let's do tap on install right here. Now it should reboot the device. Tap on OK. And it's booting back up now. Uh, from this point, it's still going to install Android uh, Jelly Bean 4.1.2. So we're going to wait up a little more. And let me just stop the talking for now. I'm going to get back a little bit. There you go. So we're back now. It's closing back to 100%. And it's rebooting now after that Android install. It should say Samsung S3. Of course, it should say that way. It should not say Samsung Galaxy Note 2 because this is an S3. So Samsung logo back right there. And we are going to wait for some more seconds. Uh, we're going to be expecting multi-view on this. Um, what are features that, if I can recall it right, the gallery feature on the Galaxy Note 2 is also expected on this upgrade. Uh, changes on the notification panel that you could like customize it already. And also brightness, the brightness indicator in there, you could, you could remove that. Smart rotation for the screen. Continuous input for keyboard. And you got two, uh, two new apps, I guess. One that says, uh, I'm not pretty sure. What was the? I guess that's paper. Paper artist, right? Paper artist, and I forgot the other one. The other one was Groupcast, right? Groupcast. And it's back now from restart, 
and it's going to bring you back all the settings, the elements that you have on your phone. Would say globe in there. Yeah, I'm still using globe. And device successfully updated. So we got 4.1 point something. If I'm not mistaken, it should be 4.1.2, right? Uh, it's scanning. It's a little laggy because it's still scanning the device. And about device right there. And there you go. The classic 4.1.2 that will make the S3 function like a Galaxy Note 2 well not exactly because we don't have an S Pen for this so we're just going to be getting some of the features of a Note 2 and there you go we're in the version that you got Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean running on a Samsung Galaxy S3 Philippine version. So from here uh, we're going to be creating videos as to what changes would you get with this upgrade and uh, do check that one out in the coming days or probably I'd be doing that in a little bit. I'm just going to play with the device and see what changes I can still show or share to you. Again, do check out our website www.newtoboss.com and do subscribe to our channel www.youtube.com slash newtoworks. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks much for watching.